quite good. Great. And, uh, welcome to my stream. Um, we are basically I'm Void Laziness, or also known as Conrad Two, on uh, Discord and Westnoff in general, or the just Westnoff forum. And yeah, I am. I stream mostly mainline campaigns, trying not to cheat with saves coming. I've recently relaxed my definition of saves coming. Like previously, it was if I reload, I reload from the start of the scenario. And now I'm gonna say if if I reload, I'm either uh, restart a turn or even go back a couple of turns. And I don't think that saves coming because I'm not trying to get better rolls, but I'm literally trying to change the way I'm trying to achieve things, like often tactical decisions or mistakes, uh, and sometimes even strategic strategically. But yeah, you see that. If if you see me uh, doing something that you would call safe scumming, you can call me out on that. I will listen, uh, but I might also disagree on your definition of safe scumming. But yeah, I will listen. Anyway, I was, I said that I want to play the Rise of Westnoff. Here I am. I've already played uh, plenty of other mainline campaigns which in 1.15, which I'm not going to repeat anytime soon. 1.16, maybe not at all. all the sa although the sand of the darkness is tempting, but no. Right now I'm here for the Rise of Westnoff. There it is. I play with predictable RNG, that means combat outcomes remain constant when reloading, basically. If I uh, if I send a unit to attack another unit and I see, okay, uh, they hit, then the enemy hits, then both of them miss all the time, no matter how many uh, times I reload this turn and try and repeat this fight, it will always remain the same. While with default RNG, um, the the outcome might be different every time, so also something to curb saves coming. And as always, I play on hardest difficulty. In this case, it's difficult. The uh, the well, hard uh, level of difficulty. Well, uh, just to uh, to read out the synopsis. Lead Prince Halric through the destruction of the Green Isle and across the ocean to establish the very kingdom of Westnoth itself. The confrontation with Lee Lord Javian awaits. And since it awaits, we don't want to leave it waiting. In the days before Halric I saved all people and founded the kingdom of Westnoth, we came from an island a kingdom far to the west. We were prosperous, strong and numerous. We lived in a rich land with many kings. Then they came, the West Folk. They were a wicked, brutal and dirty lord. They were the vanquished refugees of some war, fleeing from their homes in a land even further off in the west. The West Folk were not numerous. But they used dark magic, commanding vengeful spirits and legions of walking dead. After a time of great struggle, a peace was reached. We came to dominate mo most of the isle, with the Westfolk pushed onto the most marginal of lands. In confronting their vile legions, we grew strong. Indeed, it was from this war we gleaned our first charts of knowledge about magic. We must, we must recall that the route from the western continent to our green isle was perilous at the best of times. So perilous that a stable tr uh, trading relationship between the mainland and the isle could never be maintained. Things were worse still when sailing to the east. A strong cold ocean current swept down from the north and the eastern ocean, pushing all ships horribly off course. Ships that traveled east and returned report reported nothing but open ocean and wild sea monsters. Over time, our skills as navigators grew. Then, one day, the strong-hearted 
Crown Prince of South Bay returned home from a long voyage with a fabulous tale. He said that there were lands to the east that could be reached by aggressively sailing to the east and north to compensate for the southern pool of the ocean. It wasn't long after he returned that the very Crown Prince was discovered, who discovered the land to the east fell ill and died under mysterious circumstances. His younger brother, and next in line to the throne, shaved at the eye of suspicion cast upon him. He conspired to start a war of distraction with the poor Westfall kingdoms and their league lords. The new crown prince departed with the largest army ever assembled on the isle to make war with the Westfall. This is where our story begins. With plight of a different prince on the same isle. The Rise of Vesna. For this is the story of Harlock the First and the Rise of Vesna. The Summer of Storms. The travel seems to have finally reached the heart of the Isle, to the isolated lands of King Alderic the Fourth. It looks like some restful grabble have seized the northern keep. Prepare for battle, Haldric. Father, I'm of age now. May I lead our forces in battle? You're showing in his initiative, son. I'm proud of you. Yes, you may lead our forces in ba to battle. It is time. But I stay near to keep an eye on you. There's more to this raid than meets the eye, I think. They are West Fork, rivers and feasts by nature. Rare is the summer they do not raid us. What mystery is in it now? These are not normal times, when the Prince of South Bay has raised the horse that could utterly destroy them, why would he compound their troubles by raising a crow with another king? Perhaps these are refugees fleeing us at once? Unlikely. The Prince they might await, the prince they might await in a wild country. South and east of here is more thickly settled with our folk and a greater danger to them. Even supposing they could run through us, why could the wrath of the greater kingdoms? We must inquire of the survivors after de we defeat them. Onwards to victory! Look, a little princeling and his merry men, we teach you a lesson for what your kind did to us. So, your gender was saying uh, that they enjoyed the rewritten intro. And I must say, so do I. I very much like that. Let's send this guy over there. Actually, let's. Okay, this one is faster, so let's send this guy over there. Then a bowman, a march, a mage, and horseman. Oh, oh, I should redo my settings. I do not want to skip combat and enemy moves. Of course, that wouldn't look as fun. Then we've got 23 gold left. Actually, one more spearman, one more bowman, and then I'm gonna leave that keep. I think. I actually like to have got 80 gold more than me. I might go for a couple more units. By the way, since this is a new campaign, once I would like to say again, uh, you can name units after yourself. You basically get to pick a unit, you get to pick uh, the what I'm supposed to want it, and well, then I'm gonna name it easy as that. So I meet the first uh, enemies when it's night time, or when it starts to get night time, which is not ideal at all. Like, totally not. Um. Okay, this guy has leadership. By the way, they've got a new portrait, like Elderic has his own portrait, so you don't see it in the dialogue, but the Warrior King has a really cool and new portrait. Oh, snap. This might be the Scepter of Fire, that's pretty cool, but not fitting for this time, but actually, actually let's see something. 
Okay, look, they've also got the Scepter of Fire on their shield. That's nice. Anyway, back to the actual game. So I've got leadership. And I'm gonna stay on this side of the river for now. Uh, because, well, trying to pick a fight with them at this time is not a good idea. They've got advantage. Uh, what did you not notice that they've got this scepter of fire emblem on, on the shields? Yeah, yeah, the royal girls have it. It's nice. So, don't forget about some of the more isolated villages. We'll need the gold. Fair point, it's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Like, I get why he's pointing it out, he's not wrong. Just that I already thought of it. I can get one more village, frankly, and I think I would like that. I'm gonna put this one here so I can technically attack that village. If once this guy takes this village, I will check if they could reach also there. Probably. Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna go there actually. Because I do not want to fight both of those at the same time during night time. Yeah, not good. By the way, uh, Prince Hadlick is a noble youth at level 0 unit with a training sword, so he's not dealing much damage. You will have to feed him XP um, on his boon pretty much. Today he is a young demon, but by his devotion to the crown, he is seeking to become a lord to join the elite of humanity. Cool story, bro. Then, actually, what's the royal king? As the leader of human kingdoms, kings are responsible for ruling and pro protecting their subjects. Kings can coordinate the attacks of level 1 and 2 units, thereby increasing their fighting efficiency. Like, that's. So, hi, 2D Phoenix, this is hard. Uh, it's, it's called Lord in the settings. It's the hardest one available. Also, boom, bye. By the way, this guy has 6 XP because he attacked uh, the Warrior King, the level 3 unit, twice. So, yeah. It checks out. Okay, so since those guys are instantly going over to attack, I do not have both of them at once. And hello, Icky Toad, to you too. A reminder that you can name units after yourself. Like always. It's that guy, I don't like that guy. So I kind of didn't hit a single thing there. Yeah? Which is awkward. Do this. Okay, I think I will probably lose a unit here. Uh, but I don't really mind because um, I've got back up coming. Like I'm still recruiting every turn. Almost. I've got a level 3 unit over there and I've got more income than the way more income. I've got most of the villagers. So yeah, and this is the guy I see most at risk right now. There you go. So and now I've got basically four units I can take out and uh, change the numbers in my favor. So first of all, I'm gonna go with Mage uh, to very much guarantee me hitting this. Then this guy, preferably softening up, that did work out. Uh, worst case would have been him actually killing them. Like it's not terrible, terrible, but it's certainly not great. Also, no choice but to uh, kill this one like this. And also just soften up this one, no guarantee chance for a kill, but also no chance for dying. And yeah, actually I'm not gonna recruit more than this because that is probably... This one avoided the fight and just went for the village. That's okay too, like if they're just gonna keep running and only taking villages, 
then uh, they will only be part of this fight once the fight is actually over. Okay, so there's that guy, but I can't really reach that one unless I take out this one, and that's unlikely. Uh, uh, I hope I don't kill this one. Perfect. 3 XP, 3 XP. I uh, like right now, I'm kind of trying to funnel XP mage and maybe on this guy, but not all because I. Ooh, I would like to protect this guy. Like, chances for those guys killing him during the daytime are really low, even though he has a very low chance to dodge. While this one would have been more likely to die. Well, which is why I put in the other unit there. It's also nice if they just go for him, because... Um, this guy can't hit back when attack range, but at the same time they can't deal any decent damage to them. So that's nice. This guy is just trying to get there. Then first of all remove this one, hopefully. No hit, that happens. Uh, remember the XP feeding thing. And this guy as well. Okay, sadly, Haldric cannot reach and take this very free kill, uh, but it's not too bad. There will be opportunity, sure. Okay, and so far I've already won this fight pretty much. It's just clean up and there's no danger of anyone dying right now. Like this, this one over there is a bit annoying because it's, it's gonna cost me villages, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's not exactly dangerous. Okay, no. kill. It's nice effect. I'm trying to hit this one exactly twice. So, Adric can clean it up. Feel my wrath, you fiend! That is, if he actually were to hit this attack. Yeah, even if he doesn't take the kill, I've got other units to uh, pick up his slack. Then take villages, heal my units up. Uh, don't make dumb gambles or anything. This guy will probably go for the village to attack this one, but it's only one unit and they can't kill him. So that's okay. It's a shame, but it's okay. So it's night time, I could try to feed him some XP, but if this guy hits every single hit in retailation, I'm dead. It's not good, so let's not try that. So remember, healing up my units is priority right now. This guy can deal some decent damage against him. him. Oh snap, um, actually let's undo couple of moves. This, so this one is not reachable. This one had a chance to actually, would have had a chance to kill this one. And high sprouting potatoes, I'm sorry I totally forgot. Sprouting potatoes is the newest uh, person who've joined my my viewers and my subscribers, that's the word. Uh, so yeah, welcome sprouting potatoes. So by the way, why I'm feeding this mage XP, it's so hopefully I can have a white mage soon. Like that would be very, very helpful. Mobile healing and all that. So yeah, I can attack this even if I miss and miss everything and this one hits everything, I will survive. Added bonus um, if I only need one hit to actually kill them. I still need to hit, of course. That's the point. Missing isn't everything. Or isn't as isn't as debilitating as it could be. So right 
now I'm really just trying to feed XP. And yeah, that's a level 2 unit. Level 2 units are useful. Also, no, actually, actually, I'm gonna change my approach on that. I don't think there's any need for those guys to level up. I would rather spread my XP around a bit more so I have more high level units uh, for the next scenarios. Like, I obviously could easily level up those two guys, but it's more useful to have, or in most cases, it's more useful to have um, units that are about to level up when you recall them instead of already leveled up because they need less, um, they need less income, less upkeep, that's the word, and uh, you will have this uh, level up advancement ready. I say in most cases because I absolutely want this guy to be a white mage already because only at level 2 uh, they have this ability to, to heal. Like that's something they do not previously have and therefore it's important to actually level them up. So also note how I try to avoid actually having him attack anyone right now because he doesn't need any XP to level up. He is max level, there's nothing that uh, attacking can change about that. Him getting attacked and killing something is an unfortunate accident from my point of view. Okay, and I would actually like to end the scenario, so I'm gonna do it like this. Sure, I miss. Um, now I've got mage. I invoke the right of surrender! Don't kill me! Why have you come to trouble our lands? Trouble your lands? Pah! You fool prince of South Bay has attacked our lands. The League Lords had no choice. They opened a gate and... And... And what? They pledged to visit all of the terrors of the Hells upon the Isle. They built a great stone gate to the heart of the homeland of the Orcs in the distant west. Now even us Westfolk must flee or be, f or be slaves. Orcs are just creatures of tall tales. You've been on this island too long. I assure you that orcs are sick exist. By now there are probably a half dozen gates to the orcish homeland. There is no hope. We must prepare our defenses. Harik, stay here to keep. I must go and fortify, fortify our frontier. My forces are defeated. Under your customs of surrender, I will go now. You may go. See to it that you trouble us no more, for the custom states that you may invoke surrender but once. If we meet again, I won't be so merciful. So and with this, I've won the scenario, I get a bonus gold of 161 gold for the next scenario. And I'm gonna take a break before the next scenario. That's like sprouting potatoes as was saying that healers are the best, especially when you get two of them so they can heal each other. I have to agree. They're certainly a game changer. And that's one of the main reasons they do not want to play Son of the Black Eye. Uh, sprouting potatoes, I just want to point out that later, admittedly way, way later, you will get access to healers. Also, you get access to trolls and, well, they heal themselves, so that's nice. Uh, for now, I'm gonna take a 10 minute break. I'm gonna stop the stream for till then, and then I'm gonna just gonna restart it. Like, this was fast, this was easy. I see no problem continuing with the next scenario soonish. So, yeah. Any questions before I end this? And see you in 10 minutes. Or if, if there are no questions, I will see you in 10 minutes again. Yes, no, maybe, nothing. Okay, then see ya in 10. Um, I will ping on Discord again when I start.
All right, by the way, sprouting potatoes. Uh, do join the Western of Discord before, because that's where I announce my streams. Right. Anyway, see you.